Good afternoon, everyone. Well, as you can feel the pain, like Bill Clinton, the liar, used to say, I feel your pain. Anybody feel any pain yet? If this is believable, and I believe it is believable, how many people signed up on the first day of Obamacare? This is on the blaze, as you can see. You can find this other, other articles, different spots. Some say the same exact thing. They're talking in the article and in that little video about the failure of it so far. Enrollments were up to 100. Wednesday afternoon, at the end of Wednesday, it was 248 nationwide. They need 39,000 a day by March the 1st to, read, to reach 7 million. And as you've heard, HHS, Kathleen Sebelius, another paid minion traitor, criminal. She just couldn't provide any figures on whenever she was being questioned, you know, and grilled. Because they just didn't have any, they didn't want to be given false numbers, would they? This is ridiculous. And what it is. It was never designed to work. This Obamacare was never, ever designed to be good for you, the people, and me. It was designed to be another nail in the coffin of America to help crash the system Are you getting it yet? The design of this supposed site and software goes into the hundreds of millions of dollars and it does not work. They have stolen our money yet again out and out thievery in your face you can't or you won't do anything about it I dare you to try if you do that kind of an attitude from this man this thing in the White House all the corrupt criminals that he surrounded himself with that do his dirty work at his behest. And then they want to tell you they're going to have it all going by next month, right? Meanwhile, we are beginning to hear testimonies, and I don't want to hear any bleeding heart, ignorant liberals. saying they're all paid hacks and that the stories aren't even real. Go get a life if that's what you think. I am very pissed off about this because it is hurting and it's gonna hurt a lot more people than what it's doing now. You wait until next you wait until next December when that runs out and small business yeah, it hits home with that. You think what we're seeing now is something you ain't seen anything yet. How is it good for someone when their insurance doubles or triples? And in some cases goes up five times more than what it was. How, how is that good? It's not. They, are, they have designed this to crush and destroy people, mainly the middle class. 
uh, I put those videos up in my in my likes and favorites of Lindsay Williams and in those he discusses also the, the elites wanting to crush the middle class well this is a good you know pretty good start of it if things weren't tough enough on everybody they're just cinching the belt up another notch if you paid two hundred and fifty dollars a month in your premium you tell me how much harder it would be to pay five to six hundred or more that is just monthly that is not counting whenever you get your deductible or your uh, copay and deductible whichever you'd like to refer to it as Are you getting it yet? Are you feeling the pain and the sting yet? Someone is going to say yes but maybe your income would fall into the range in which you will qualify for federal tax credits and you will receive a portion of that money back Mm-hmm. Well, we've yet to see how the tax credit actually works since the website doesn't work. So pretend that you had to pay your monthly premium and and all the stuff until tax time. And then you file your taxes and then you get your tax credits back. Does that help you out from the pain that you're going through for the span of a year? if that's the way it is is supposed to be reimbursed no you're a hurting unit for the whole time until you get to that point and then they'll figure out some way to maybe possibly screw you around before that even comes to you you getting it meanwhile you're gonna have a few unfortunates on the other end of the spectrum that are going to get some coverage. You see where it is? The ends justify the means. Order out of chaos. Crush things to pieces. What was in order to rebuild in what you envision will be. The yes we can change. The fundamental transformation of America. He and the people to pull his strings as he is actually the puppeteer of the puppet directed by the puppeteer acting on their behalf this country has been continues to be and will be destroyed from within before we get anything from the outside the moral fabric of this country has been in decay for many years. We've seen the decay of the marriage. The divorce rate is way, way high. Single parents raising kids. Marriages are now throwaways the commitment and the promise that's made doesn't mean anything to these people anymore the children that are growing up being raised are not being raised with any moral values what they think is moral values are nothing we see the allowance of in many states 
and has also been given the big yes nod by the president himself of the act of homosexuality and marriages between homosexuals. God in the Bible has plainly said that is detestable. Do you know what detestable is? Why don't you look it up in the dictionary if you don't? He doesn't want to have to lash the discipline out. But you can look back and see things didn't fare too well in the days of Noah. You see what he had to do. It wasn't all just to get rid of the giants. There was homosexuality going on back then too. How about Sodom and Gomorrah? Huh? They had some giants there too, but that wasn't all they were doing there. They had some homosexuality going on there too. You understand that he takes as much as he can and gives as much time as he can for you to come out of it. And when you don't, he can't take it anymore. He can't allow it anymore. He's pure and he cannot allow actions such as that to go unpunished. And when the punishment is meted out, it is always, always devastating for all the guilty parties. And it is not something he will change his mind on. It's up to the people to change. And if you show him that you'll change, then he'll give you some more time. So, back to the decay of America. <clears throat> They're destroying the economy. $85 billion a month printed out of thin air. Now you're going to have a new leader at the Fed. She is just going to be another minion of theirs. She's not going to be any better. They're going to keep the presses rolling. You're going to see prices at the store continue to go up. And when you do, you need to realize it's not just the cost of the price the good went up. It's the value of your money went down. Are you getting it yet? The value will be driven down by the continued printing of the money. I would also like to say on a different note, I disagree with Secure Team 10 and the video they had with uh, the supposed alias Dr. Norton talking about a spaceship parked on the dark side of the moon. It doesn't make any sense to me that someone would not tell who they were or where their location was if they were worried about men in black, CIA, Secret Service, what have you, killing them. If you put your name out, people know who you are. If you put your location out, people know who you are and where you are. So if something happens after you release the information, then they can say, Hey, they killed him. But if you're sitting in a motel room at an undisclosed location and using an assumed name, if you disappear, nobody knows where you're at, and the assumed name doesn't match your real name, so when you disappear, nobody knows. So I think that that is hogwash. Uh, if it has a cloaking to, or a, a force field on it like they claimed, that would deflect large space rocks running into the force field, then I assume that they would have technological advancement to make a cloaking device where you couldn't see it, and then you wouldn't need to be behind the moon. It just doesn't make sense. I believe they're going for views. I'd advise everyone to question videos like that coming out from them. God bless everyone.